Welcome back. All right. So, my Intel uh, Mac Mini 2018 i-core, uh, well, i6 core, uh, I think it's an 8400 uh, with 64 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 2666 megahertz. Anyway, um, it's working now. So what I've added was the Apple Display, or I should say the LG Ultrafine 5K to it. And now I got three monitors running off of this Mac Mini. The main problem was, first of all, uh, the USB conversion to uh, the ports. So Messing around with the Apple display or studio display and uh, comparing to the LG Ultrafine, I was using hubs. And that's all I needed. So one hub is on my laptop where the R10 is working with that for mobility and uh, streaming if I'm on the road. The other one is right here on the Intel Mac Mini. So I have two of them. Uh, one is uh, for two cameras, and the other one is just for one camera. So I just run a three-man show on this one. But uh, anyhow, uh, that was the major problem. I had it uh, too many hookups, and I found out that the conversion from USB 3 was kind of like a USB 2. It wasn't a USB 3. So I just uh, went ahead and uh, with that uh, adapter, I just put in a USB 3 and everything worked. So that tells me the USB C on the, uh, well, the Thunderbolt, whatever. Is for Thunderbolt. It's not for USB-C. It's supposed to be backward compatible, but uh, I sidetracked that with uh, running a hub and then uh, hooking everything in with the USB 3 for the Elgato's. And as you can see, there's no stuttering. And if I go into, uh, let's say, the roving cameras, this is Z7 II. I got the 24 millimeter on there. And you'll notice that the color is a little bit different, but that's from the lens and maybe from the camera. I don't know. There's the Z5. And you can see that's uh, 35 millimeter on here. Uh, full frame. And then, of course, the Z6 II. But this is a 28 to 75 f 2.8. It's not an S lens, so I can't really zoom it or whatever. But uh, it does the job. So anyhow, that done, I can shake, move around, and I can keep doing this until the next one, and you will see no stuttering. See. It used to stutter when it changed. Uh, the other thing I did was uh, got rid of the background, the wallpaper. So with the Intel, when it changed, it messed up my uh, recording every time. So the picture started stuttering and stuff. So it was mentioned to me by Peter Gregg. Hey, just... Uh, Turn off the wallpaper and the screensaver, and uh, less uh, taxing on this uh, thing. So this is Ecom Ecamm Four. Everything's working fine. Um, if I go into my um, options, I'll show you the live demo. So now on the five K. You can see my uh, camera th or effects, my um, 
cameras right here, your picture, comments, you know, if I uh, ever go live. Here's my uh, overlays, my sound. Let's see. I don't hear anything, do you? Well, that's on the recording. Okay, sound effects. Triangle. And of course, if I have an interview, it's there, the comments. And as you can see, there's no bandwidth problems. Now, the reason why I brought you here is twofold. One is look at the window, the preferences. So it's at 4K24. And I got the uh, high quality video mode off. Okay. So everything is fine. I think it's high quality, but if I click on this, look at that. And also, yeah, it's 4K24. So apparently the fix, it's working fine. So maybe I can update my uh, laptop now. Anyways, high quality mode. Everything's fine. And uh, the major thing that uh, I'll show you. So I'll take it off live demo mode. I will now put it on. Um, uh, let's see, should I do the Z5? Nah, let's do the Z72. Okay, this is what I want to explain. It's, ooh, this was causing me a lot of trouble. Okay. It would start up and then it would go out. So I went to the store last night with the Apple display and I got me another one. And it's working. But I mixed these up so much, I think this is the bad one. Because uh, I could hook up another cam link and a camera, and my Sony was working fine. So it's just this bad one right here. And um, anyhow, I don't know if I can repair it or not. But uh, what happened is um, you plug it in, it'll work for about. 15, 30 seconds, and then it fails. So, I tried different cables, I tried, uh, and it all came down to this, this little thing right here. So, enough said of that. I'm going to show you uh, the setup that I have going on. So, I have an SD card. It's the, uh, how big is it? Let's see. Yeah, it's 256 gigabytes. And the ZBE 10. So maybe that could be a problem with the HDMI. I never thought of that. Because I think they only go up to, I'll have to look it up. But that's a 256 gigabyte card so I'm going to put this uh, bad boy in this uh, computer or in this uh, SD slot and may have to move this one more time okay it's in now 
You gotta find out where it's located. Hmm. Let me go into Finder. Nothing on the desktop. So let's go on over here to settings, external disks. There it is. Okay. So, here's my ZV10. And I'll show you the process. Um, I'm going to move this over to my other screen. Click on here. Go to Options, Live Demo Mode. And um, I'm going to go to share, which is right over. Scene. All right. And secondary display could be. That one? Yep. That's it, folks. Okay. So, uh, like I said before, I could... See, this only works on the camera. Okay? So, that's not going to work for me. I can't uh, bring it up. Uh, if I had a camera behind me, you could see it. But, anyway... Go down to the bottom, private, all right, go to the thumbnail, I click on that, a picture will come up, and there you go. Pretty neat picture of the laptop, and I'll probably use that for um, uh, this video. Oh, okay. I see what it did. I clicked on it. Now you can see it on the desktop. That's pretty good. So, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to move it off the uh, drive. So you can now see it on the... Well, you can't see it on the desktop, but... Now I'll go to the clip. Now, on this... I'm going to turn preview off. Okay, so you're back here. So I already copied this picture that you just saw on the desktop. Okay. Now, this file is 3.1, uh, almost 3.2 gigabytes. So I'm going to hit the uh, command key, left mouse button, and I'm going to copy it to the desktop. And you probably can't see it. But if I move this over here. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it uh, copying. And it's pretty fast. Less than a minute. As easy as that. Scroll down here, right mouse click, move the trash, close. Desktop is here. So I'll close that. Um, I'm going to Remove trash. See if I can get my mouse working. All right, come on. Come on, mouse. I moved it somewhere. You know what? 
Um, I'm thinking it's interfering with my inner mouse <laughs> on the other studio, okay? So, yeah. So now I have to... I can't believe it. There we go. Got it back. Oh. So, empty trash. See how simple that was? And then uh, I'm going to eject my SD card. Done. Now I can pull that out. Find it. There it is. Went too far. Okay. So it's out. Close this. Close that. Now you're on a new scene, so I'm going to go to a share. And what I can do right here is uh, play a video for you. So I'll go here and go to share. I'm going to take it out of live mode. Options. I get my mode is out. Now I'm going to uh, share. Everything's back to normal. There's my laptop. And as you can see, I'm in the uh, R10 is working. So I cleaned up the whole area. Got done with the, uh, the two monitors display. There's the R10 working great with the laptop. Uh, the only two that, well, the only one that doesn't work is this one right here. And that is because... Uh, HDMI port stopped working. So I'll just have to go around blogging. There's Dusty. Where are you pointing at me? Let me tell you about pointing stuff at me. Huh? I just got finished washing the dogs. Where are they? There's Buddy. Hi, Buddy. Sorry you're sick. I think he has allergies, so I... Gave him a bath and shower. He's so good. I gave him some food too. So, laptop's working. I'm using that and on the uh, Intel Mac Mini 2018. So, there's a dummy battery and the laptop is charged too. So, I still have a USB uh, C port. I don't know if that's Thunderbolt or USB C. I couldn't tell you. But uh, anyway, network, HDMI, another uh, USB 3, and then card readers. And then it's being charged from the outlet. So it's also charging here and transferring information over. So anyhow, that's one setup. Now I go over in here into the office. I've been kind of sick, folks. Oh, I had the shakes today. So, let me uh, zoom back. It should help. LG Ultra Fine. The um, 4K in a portrait mode. And 4K Samsung TV uh, right there. That's the LG. That's for the uh, PC. The 2950X Threadripper. But I've been working. 
So I put the uh, Z72 there. My boom arm is over the table, which is behind the monitor. I'll show you that in a moment. Z5, Z62. So these are the three cameras I deal with. Now, on the studio, let me get back, there we go, it's too close. So there's the R7 with the kit lens. A7C is mobile too, but I just have a a battery for it. I got a battery for this too, but um, I've been carrying these two around. All right, so Z30 over there, ZFC over here, the A6100 right there. Come on, focus. I'm not doing a good job. There we go. See, it could be in focus, but the LCD screen sucks. That's all I can say. So there's a mobile ZFC right there. Okay. So I have a mobile Nikon, a mobile Sony. Actually, I have two mobile Sonys. Full frame. This one, APS-C, so it's the Nikon. And then, there's the Z50. Yeah, you can't see it, but... And of course, uh, that's where the puppies go. 55 inch. This is a new Apple uh, display studio. Look how everything's all nice and neat. Dust it. My Sony lenses right here. My Nikon lenses right here. And of course, uh, my other 4K TV from Sony. Lots of beach. There you go. Soundbar. RGB speakers. 4K Blu-ray, uh, Dish Network, 4K Joey, printer, laser printer. This is for when I show up products. So anyway, then of course my 3900X with the uh, 3080 Ti for gaming. So, there's my two uh, F-mount lenses for Nikon, 24 to 70 and 70 to 200, F2.8s. So, this is my setup. Everything's going good. Now, I'm going to uh, talk about a certain problem. Dealing with this. I've got a 4K cam link. And then uh, I'm going to talk about this one, Intel Mac Mini. This one has 65 gigs of RAM. Let me try to get back so you can see it. You can see the uh, GoPro on top of it. So anyhow, Let's end this part of the video and uh, talk what's been happening with uh, this computer. So, here I got Wanda, all nice and clean. Both me and Pettit. True lap dog. Anyway, uh, that's the problem I was having. Um, there's always workarounds. You have to figure it out. It's a lot of work. But uh, the way I found it was uh, by taking everything out, trying each device, see what worked, what didn't work, 
set the cables that I thought were bad and turned out to be one item. This cam link. I got uh, eight others. They work great. So five on that one, three on here. And one in there. So yeah, five. Yeah, nine of them. So this was my tenth one. Yeah. So uh, anyhow, uh, problem solved. This is Ecamm 4. Everything's working great. Um, so I have my LG Ultra Fine there. I can run my, when I um, go on and look on the internet and stuff like that and um, help out Peter Gregg. I can use my uh, portrait monitor to watch the uh, comments and stuff and see the video at the same time. And then uh, I can also play video or on the LG Ultrafine or on the 4K. So I guess there's good reason when something fails, you fix it and then you enhance the uh, situation. So I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, so I hope you like this content. I hope you like the video. Um, it's a journey. That's the important thing. You just strive through it. Jump the hurdles. Climb over that hill. And it gets better. So anyway, thank you for watching. Give me a like, subscribe. Um, any questions, just write in the comments below. And as always, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, goodbye.